Hello, about three years ago I sent an email to Rode Microphones asking them if they wouldn't mind awfully making a dual version of this, the Rode Video Micro, with one pointing forwards and another one kind of stuck to the back of it pointing backwards. And the reason that I wanted one of those is because when you're out doing a bit of vlogging and you've got the microphone on top, well, sometimes you want to be giving a commentary or you're asking interview questions and yet you still want to pick up the sound that's in front of you, which is either the natural sound or the person asking your questions. So you, you need a microphone that both points forward and backwards and no such thing in a little form like the Rode Video Micro existed. Well, here we are three years down the line and Rode have still not come up with it, but look what I've gone out and bought. It is the new Deity V-Mic 4 Duo, which is exactly what I'd asked Rode for, but it's been produced by Deity, which is the microphone offshoot of Aperture. So this could be the answer to my prayers. Clearly there's not a huge amount in this, but we might as well do a quick unboxing, show you what you get. So... Oh, hello, that's... There we go. Right, at the top, that will be some bump. What's that? Ooh, little very basic instruction manual giving you the gist of what it does. Okay, there's something else in the box there, and that's a warranty card, I think. Okay. There's the microphone. It does come, as you can see, with the two wind jammers. I'll do a test on how effective they are. One cable, which is your standard TRS to TRS. So no input for phone. This is designed for cameras. What a fantastically engineered piece of cardboard. Isn't that amazing? Oh, oh love a good bit of cardboard. Anyway, I could play with that for hours. So there's the microphone. Let's pull that wind. Oh, yes, that's just going to pull off one wind jammer one smaller wind jammer there is the mic complete with one forward facing half and one shorter backward facing half and it's in one of these Rycote Lyre suspension mounts which are practically unbreakable and isolate the mic from any handling noise on the camera that's fairly sturdily constructed I'm pleased to say Looks alright. There's this switch here which switches it from mono mode, which is, I think, the front mic sent to both channels. Switch back is then notional stereo mode. It's not stereo, obviously, it's, it's front mic goes to one and rear mic goes to the other. And there's the output there over to your camera, and there's this extra little input here which I will come to. So there you go. Diddy little thing. So this clearly has the functionality. It's a forward facing mic and a backward facing mic and one channel goes to left and one channel goes to right. So it's, it's dual mono effectively, uh, which means you can edit the channels independently. But does it sound any good? And how does it sound against my go-to microphone, the Rode Video Micro? Let's put it through its paces. This is the sound of the Deity V-Mic 4 Duo using the front microphone. I would say I'm sitting about 50 centimetres, yeah, about half a metre in front of it. I do not have the windshield on, the wind jammer, because I'm indoors and there isn't really a breeze. This is not a perfect recording environment by a long shot. I've got a couple of windows open over there and I can hear in the distance a rather noisy dual carriageway, just a little bit of sound in the background. It's very windy today, things are banging around outside and this is not an acoustically treated room by any stretch of the imagination. But in that sense, it is a more realistic test of what it will sound in a real environment. So once again, this is the Deity. I've set it to be the front mic only for this test. And I will now plug in the Rode Video Micro so we can do our direct back-to-back -back comparison of the one with the other. This now is the Rode Video Micro under exactly the same conditions. The mic is where the previous one was. The windows are still open. It's still windy outside. So Mary had a little lamb. Its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. But 
Did Mary like the sound of the Deity Mic versus the Road Mic? Only you can make that decision. What I'll do now is plug the Deity Mic back in and point the rear microphone at me and we'll hear what that one sounds like. I might do that at a closer distance because that would be a more realistic test of its use. What you're now hearing is the Deity's rear microphone. Now when you switch it to this mode, both microphones, the front and rear, are active. So the front mic will be picking up some sound, but I will cut that channel in the edit so you're only hearing the rear pointing mic. I have reduced the distance to about 25 centimeters because that's a bit more of a realistic uh, simulation of how this would be used. It would be held up in front of you when you're vlogging so the mic would be a lot closer to your mouth than the front one would normally be from what it's recording. Uh, I don't know if the two capsules are identical in the mic. Certainly the rear facing one has a shorter body for a shorter shotgun effect but it shouldn't need it because you're going to be standing right behind the camera talking straight into it. Anyway this is what it sounds like. Once again this is the rear facing microphone on the Deity mic. Now the thing about these microphones is that they will of course be used for vlogging outdoors and as such both the Rode comes with a big fluffy wind jammer which actually does a pretty good job it's not perfect but it does a pretty good job and the new one from deity comes with two little wind jammers one for the front one for the back so will they be any good and of course the thing with wind jammers is you don't just want them to stop the wind into the microphone you could do that by putting the mic in a concrete box but that would stop all the good sound coming in as well so they need to stop the wind but be acoustically transparent so all the sound you do want can still get through. Well, there's only one way to find out, and by lucky chance it's quite a blustery day today. As you can see, I am now outside and this is the Deity V-Mic D4 Duo. It's in dual mode, which is to say both the front and rear microphones are recording, but in the edit I will switch it so you're simply at the moment hearing the forward-facing microphone. The wind jammers are on both microphones and it is uh, sort of intermittently gusty. There's a breeze blowing right now. There we go. That's quite a strong gust that's blowing right now. And then in a minute, oh, that's a very strong gust that's blowing right now. And then it'll calm down for a second and then it'll gust again. So I would say when it's gusting, it's quite a harsh condition. And I would be quite surprised if the wind jammer can do any good whatsoever. And then when it's not blowing, it's just a little gentle breeze, it's the kind that I think it should be able to take care of. I'm waffling on a bit because the breeze is so intermittent. I want you to get a good example of what it sounds like when it's not blowing and what it's like when there's just a little bit of a breeze and then how well it's handling uh, when there is quite a gust. So for the moment, there's barely a whisper. Oh, and now it's picking up again. So it really is all over the place. And what I'll do in a second, again, is switch over to the Rode Video Micro, which has that much larger wind jammer on it. And we'll see how well the Video Micro does under the same circumstances. All right, I think I've talked for long enough. We've had blowy and not blowy. And once again, you're listening to the uh, Deity microphone at the moment, the front mic. I'll also switch it around and do some recording from the rear mic as well. Now for comparison, this is the Rode Video Micro with its own wind jammer on it. I'll tell you now, that was quite a stiff breeze blowing just as I said that. And uh, I think simply because the wind jammer on the Video Micro is so much larger than the one that comes with the Deity, it will do a better job. Now I have tested the one on the Video Micro in some extreme conditions before, and it's not perfect by a long shot. It does a reasonable job as long as there is only a reasonable breeze. Um, but I do think it will nonetheless be better than the one on the uh, Deity because the uh, the one on the Deity is frankly shorter, uh, got less hair about it, so it'll probably do a less good job of blocking the breeze. Now, as I'm recording this, I would say there is a fairly continuous stiff breeze blowing, uh, which is possibly a little unfair on the road because it was a lot more intermittent when I just recorded that bit on the Deity mic. But I'm going to keep talking just for a couple of seconds to see if the wind dies down a little bit more and then it might be a little bit more of a fair comparison uh, but either way there's not a lot I can do about the wind the wind is the wind and this is a realistic outdoor test albeit in a pretty stiff breeze um, which really you would want a full-blown broadcast blimp for if you were doing this 
what I would call properly, but when you're just shooting with a handy cam, you haven't really got the scope for a full broadcast blimp, so a little furry wind jammer it is. Anyway, this is the road. This is the Deity microphone and I have switched it around so that you're now hearing the audio from the rear pointing microphone but I've actually switched it round to be the front pointing one just for the sake of convenience and once again still in the same spots, the same conditions, the wind keeps blowing and then going really quiet and blowing and going really quiet and the question is what does the um, little wind jammer on the rear facing microphone sound like. I'm sorry if I'm squinting, I mean I am squinting, the sun beautiful blue skies up above it was just raining about 10 minutes ago and now it's beautiful blue skies and it's right in my eyes so many apologies for that I should probably put my hat on hang on I've got a hat oh that's better yes I can see what I'm doing now whether the camera will focus on me anymore that's another question because it doesn't like doesn't like hats uh, but once again, I'm really just waffling on a bit so that you can hear uh, what the rear-facing mic sounds like on the Deity mic with both the wind blowing as it is right now uh, and what it was like when there was just a little gentle breeze. Okie dokie then, some conclusions and thoughts about this D-mic duo from Deity. Whether or not you liked its sound or whether you preferred it to the road or you preferred the road of course will be a entirely a matter of your personal taste. For me I am so used to the sound of the road, I've been using it for years, that even though I can hear it is um, I suppose a bit muddy uh, would be the way to describe, a bit more bassy, a bit more muddy, I like that sound and I think I preferred the road sound over the Deity sound indoors but I preferred the Deity sound to the road when filming outdoors. That crispness, I think, in the Deity helped make it stand out a bit more outdoors. Now, having said that, quite clearly, in terms of the Battle of the Windjammers, the road Windjammer did a far better job than the one on the Deity mic because when I was filming with the road, it was blowing a pretty much constant horrific gale and yet you wouldn't have known. Whereas when I was filming with the Deity mic, the wind was much more intermittent and every time it blew, you could hear it. So what you really want is a combination of the deity mic outside with a, a better wind jammer, right? like something from the road. I don't know if Rycoat make a suitably tiny wind jammer for this kind of thing, because Rycoat wind jammers are absolutely the best. They cost, but they really are worth the money if you are worried about wind noise. Um, but anyway, if they don't, then maybe buy a, um, a road, take the wind jammer off it and put it on a deity. It has certainly, I think, proved itself enough that, not least because it's the only mic I know of that does this, being the two opposite facing mics, that is now my vlogging setup for my camper van trips. I've got the Sony ZV-1 camera, nice and compact, and then I will leave this on it so that I can do my vloggy bits, hello, blah, 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 coming in through the back mic. Anytime I want to do a piece to camera, turn it round and do it through the front mic with no messing about. Anytime I want to interview someone, Brilliant, it's got my questions, it's got their answers. That is now the perfect, perfect vlogging setup, I think. And, uh, oh, it's got one other trick up its sleeve, by the way, in terms of doing interviews. I should have mentioned, you see there, the output from the mic to the camera. Well, in front of that, there's another 3.5mm jack socket, which is a microphone input, a mic input into a microphone. And what happens is when you plug another mic into that, it replaces the rear facing microphone. And I think the idea is that you'd put a wireless mic on a guest, plug it in here, and then if that wireless mic failed for any reason, you'd still have the sound from the front facing mic as a backup. Now, from my perspective, I would rather that when you plugged it in, it replaced the front facing mic. Forget the whole backup idea. Put the guest on the wireless mic as the front channel and then I can still have my interviewer questions because I'll be standing behind the camera and I would have them coming in on the, the back mic. So for me, it, it, plugging an external thing in and it replacing the back mic is actually the wrong way round. I would rather forget the whole backup idea. I've got other ways of taking a backup of a wireless mic on a guest. Uh, so maybe on a second version of this microphone, Deity, if you're watching, you could put a second little switch which allows the user to toggle whether it's the front or rear mic that gets swapped out when you plug another mic in. I would much rather have interviewer, sorry, interviewee 
as a front mic replacement and my question still being picked up by the rear mic. Now obviously I could just turn it around and then I'd be picked up by that front mic and the interviewee on the wireless would be effectively what the rear mic was, if that makes any sense. So yeah, you know, there are ways around it. But it's a useful extra little feature, but it'd be even more useful if you could just have a second toggle on the mic to switch which mic gets replaced when you plug another one in. The mic costs around £90, including VAT, here in the UK, and that might sound costly, but then a video micro is, I think, about 45 and the Deity mic is equivalent to two video micros and more stuck together. So I think it is good value, and I've left a link to it on Amazon in the description below if you fancy buying one. I think that'll do it. Any questions, drop them down below, and as always, thank you for watching.